Hello and welcome to Headset Abuse. I am Ali Hay, your host. Today is the 19th of January 2016. I am joined today by Mark Gibson. Hello. And Darren Fotheringham. Hello. I think that's the smoothest intro we've done in a long time. It probably is. Say we, I. Yep. We all played a part. <laughs> yeah, so we are back exactly one week after last week's episode. Uh-huh. Plus. Whatever. Who knows? How is everyone? I have no idea. You have no I idea? Okay. I You're fine. Old. You can't, I can't speak for everyone. everyone else. I feel like I've heard that why before. You, why are you even here, Darren? If you can't tell me how everyone is, why are you... Because you don't have anyone else to talk to Mark with. I don't need someone else to talk to Mark with. Mark, Mark and I have done many a podcast, just the two of us, where we ramble on for hours. Literally hours. Like that's, I don't know how. But. We brought you in to fill the segment of how is everyone doing. No, you didn't. We brought you in because you're just that damn good looking. No, you didn't. <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> how are you, Mark? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um... Just got back in from work, and I was always that commute is real, real, real fun to do. So it's getting lighter. I I, I can imagine it's harder in the dark. It's still dark. It's dark when I leave in the morning. It's dark when I get back. Yeah, well, the darkness has not subsided. It happens every year. It's not sure. Yeah. God, we're all full, so full of energy tonight. It's Tuesday. It's the first time we've done it on non weekend. This is radio. why I suggested doing it on a Saturday or Sunday. Because <laughs> no. energy on the weekend. Fuck your weekends, man. No, it's, that's one time I get to do whatever I want. Yeah. Weekdays, I have a very fixed routine. Exactly. This is part of your fixed routine now. No, it's not. It won't be. No, it's not. Yeah, so we, I, we're doing nice things. God, you're, it's like pulling teeth. Seriously. <laughs> You're, you're the host. You're supposed to keep things running smoothie, Alistair. <laughs> running smoothie? Yep. Smoothie. Uh, yeah, so um, I just watched the first half of The Ridiculous Six. Oh, that's the terrible yeah. Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, so it is a terrible Adam Sandler. I, I, do you know it's terrible? I've, well, yes, I've heard it has the words Adam Sandler movie. There is uh, one good Adam Sandler movie. Funny people. No. Spanglish. No. Click. No. Uh, Eight Crazy Nights. No. Going the wrong Adam way. Sandler. You're going, going through all the way. bad movies. Happy Gilmore oh, is the only that, good movie. That's it. That's the only good movie. With a, a maybe to the wedding singer, but that's it. Funny people is not bad. Seth Rogen saves that movie. But yeah, I so I watched the first half of it, and it's just dull. Well, as it, in the first that you gave up after the first half, or you fully no, I came to do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's bad. It's really bad. I don't think it will redeem itself in the second full hour. I mean, Unless there's two hours. Off Adam Sandler's calendar Char- ca- character. Calendar. Um, it, but Adam Sandler just looks so unhappy. Dumb. No, he looks so, so unhappy to be there. Which, when you're getting, you know, to $60 fair, million though, dollars to make whatever you want. To be fair, if I was Adam Sandler, I would constantly be unhappy. Like, I am Adam Sandler. Seriously, if I was Adam Sandler, I would be over the fucking moon. Maybe he, was, maybe he just read the reviews of Pixels before he went to film this. Again, I wouldn't care. And Adam Sandler has gone on record to say he doesn't care. It is, those movies make a lot of money, unfortunately. Pixels didn't make a lot of money. Did it not? I thought Pixels oh, did really well. It got pulled from theatres two weeks in. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's impressive. So, but yeah, he, I mean, he just got a um, four-picture deal with... I mean, this is the first... No, it, did, it made $244 million. But didn't it cost, like... Yeah, so... Oh, did it? Yeah. How did it make a profit? I don't understand. It must have been DVD sales. Production budget of eighty-eight million. Uh, That's just box office sales. Shit. Yeah. So yeah, again, total worldwide gross was two hundred and forty-four million. So yeah. subtract eighty-eight million plus tax, and then you get to whatever. 
you know, plus, plus marketing, labor plus, costs, plus all that crap. Well, labor it, costs it, gets it, put into it, it that made budget. Five bucks. Um, but yeah, it's if I was Adam Sandler, I'd be I'd be delighted. People just throw him money to make terrible movies, and he does. So why though? I, I don't know why. Because they make money. I mean, that's literally the reason. No one, no executive is sitting behind a table going. I just think he does great work. I think he speaks for the people, um, and I really, I, I just believe in his project. So I think we should, you know, sign him for four pictures to make the ridiculous. And he just so unhappy, but it's also some sort of weird Adam Sandler power fantasy. Like he is the baddest ass fake Native American ever. Isn't Terry Crews in that? Terry Crews is in that. Jeez. So is uh, Jorge Gar- Garcia. People were just. Yeah. I could have gone the rest of my life. Yeah, you know, the guy from Lost. Terry Crews was in that movie because that spoils my entire love of Terry Crews. Terry Crews is in a lot of Adam Sandler movies. Hey, Terry Crews is in White Chicks, Darren. If that didn't I, enjoy it, I'm spoiled. sorry. Ter- I don't watch Adam Sandler movies. Terry I don't Cruz, know that kind of crap. Terry Crews got. Um, as far as I'm aware, Terry Crews got you know big from Everybody Hates Chris and Adam Sandler movies. And White Chicks. And White Chicks. And okay, and Wayne's Brothers movies. And bad movies that make a lot of money. Um, who else is it? Harvey Keitel's in that movie. Can, can we get off of the bad and bad <laughs> movie? Prep and Absolutely just, not. You, you, took, you, said, you said I was the host and I was to move the conversation forward. I'm moving the conversation forward by talking about Adam no, Sandler. No, you're Sandler's not. You're letting it stagnate by sticking on Adam Sandler. It's Learn to host just, better, it's, Ali. They, they try and make this really... Oh, God. <laughs> See what you've they, done. See what you have done. Like... Joe, have you have you ever seen any of Jack and Jill? I know you haven't, haven't, Darren, because you have made it explicitly clear that you stopped watching Adam Sandler movies. Then that's the gong. <laughs> that stop play talk, outside stop the US. talking about the conversation with not. the gong, please. So have you, have you, Mark, have you seen Jack and Jill? No, I haven't seen I... any Adam Sandler movie movie post. Uh, what was maybe. Maybe Click. Yeah, I was going to say the last Adam Sandler movie I watched was Click just to see if he'd gotten any better. No, he hadn't. Prior to that, I think the last movie I'd seen was like The Wedding Singer. I have seen pieces of uh, Jack and Jill, though, and that yeah, makes so me I've, want to die. We, uh, very... we put it on one drunken night and got about 20 minutes in, and it was seriously the most god-awful piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. And it, But it's, you know, it's constant attempts at really bad humour, this is just really like they make it really like dark and gritty at some points, and this weird drama. Like seriously, there was only about six actual jokes in it. Two well, they're which are right, they're just paying to show up. So two of which involved um, Pip. a donkey with diarrhea. Okay, there you go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was written by Adam Sandler. Also, the dialogue is god awful. As Rob expected Sh- to be something Rob written Schneider by. plays a Mexican. Uh, yeah, it's it's a new low, which is impressive. Because it's not even like you know, Jack and Jill. If you had recently been hit by a bus, I could see where the parts in that movie it's meant to be funny and I'm not seeing that with the Ridiculous Six. So five stars. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I said about any Adam Sandler movie. Your rating system, system is like a hundred. Five stars out of a hundred. Thousand. <laughs> that's more like it. You've been up to anything else, Ali, apart from watching terrible movies? No. <laughs> That's it. You spent the last nine or ten days watching terrible movies. No, I've been uh, I've been rewatching Archer, which is good. That movie, that that movie, that TV show is still awesome. excellent. Yeah, I need to catch up with that. I need to catch up. Um, gets better with every season, and also the season seven premiere got announced. Oh, did it? 
Yeah, March thirty yeah. first. So quite well. That's weird. Uh, Bob's we Burgers do... is back this week, so that's that's about what we're watching. What we need to do with Archers next time I'm back up is play the Archer drinking game, which is every time a random set of scenarios happens, you take a certain number of drinks. So you're dead by, by like the episode. second or yeah, yeah. you'll be dead by the, like the second or third episode. That's one way to go. Best Everybody see the Cloverfield two trailer? No. Nope. I'm not interested. Really? I've not even seen Cloverfield yet. I quite like Cloverfield. I don't know how to... to see Clover, weirdly, Cloverfield's been coming a lot, up a lot recently in my life. Before the Cloverfield 2 oh. trailer. It was on um, TV. I was saying, like... Um, that, that movie, the first time I watched it, was really cool. And the second time I watched it, absolute garbage. It's not a good movie. It was good for the spectacle, and that was about it. And I, unless they're going a wildly different direction with Cloverfield Two, then you should I, probably watch the trailer. You should like it's a wildly different direction. Who's the, the, the any leads attached? Uh, John Goodman. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's a weird choice for that. Yeah, Anyone else? Face? Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim. Oh, um, no. She was Bruce Willis' daughter and one of the diehards. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Her? Yeah. Is it good? No. Is it revealing? No, it's, a, it's, it's as you would expect from a J.J. Abrams trailer that isn't Star Trek or anything. It's, it seems pretty interesting to see what they're going to do. So It's like everybody's in a bunker, and then like shit happens and somebody tries to escape. It seems more of like a contained movie than what Cloverfield was. Oh. A mess. That's what Cloverfield was. A fucking mess. So um, what have you been playing, Ali? Not a lot new. Um, played a bit more Kerbal. Uh, that's still really fun. And really difficult. I'm not good at rocket science. At all. Uh, rocket science. Not, that is as close to real rocket science as I'm ever going to get. And I'm terrible at it. Just make playing but, car all the way. That's... Playing boat car. Yeah. Car's not really that vital to that mashup. Uh, played a bit more Assassin's Creed. That game's still fun. Still kind of broken in the Assassin's Creed ways it is, but I'm enjoying it for what it is. Uh, and I finished Metal Gear 5. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Happened. What, finished, finished, or just finished? Uh, finished the old story. Basically, okay. Um, Are you taking part uh, in the uh, worldwide disarmament? Well, the thing. So there's yeah. I've not I've not seen all the story. I've not got that one cut scene yeah, that plays that when be. you get rid of every nuke in the world. Yeah, uh, for a confused look, Mark, uh, for each platform, PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, if everyone on that platform decides to disarm all the nuclear weapons, that unlocks a special cutscene. That'll never happen. Uh, it's getting very <laughs> close. Like The last time I read it, and this was weeks ago, uh, I think there was something like 50 people on Xbox, like 30 or 40 people on PlayStation, and about 5,000 on PC. I'm going to go on and buy a nuke and never get rid of it. <laughs> That's such a dick move. Somebody will do that, though. That's yeah, there's someone. There's someone who's played that game and decided, I'm never going back to this after having bought a nuke. Me. Don't do it, Ali. Oh, don't be, don't be, be that, so good. Don't be that guy, Ali. Don't be that guy. Hey, Ali, Ali, you should totally be that guy. <laughs> I want to get rid of my nuke. I want a million dollars and the remains of Big Boss. Okay, I can do that, because that, one of them's just pixels and the and other one's only 500,000 pounds. What's a floppy disk? More than that. One, it's like seven, 800,000 at this point. Your exchange rates are way off base. And to be fair, you didn't say in-game currency there, so you could just give them in-game currency, so that would be... That's true, yeah. I will do both of those things, Ali. You're absolutely right. Fuck me over. We'll see where that nuke ends up. Wouldn't people just spam, like, to try to take over your base in that scenario? Because they can do that when you're offline, can't they? Mm, maybe. 
But you can only be invaded once every certain, like, I think it's like once a day. Tokenami Padgett, again. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I, um, I wasn't super thrilled with the end of that game. I know neither of you know anything about it. But I know, the, I, know the, I know the twist. You know the twist, then... Yeah. Don't, don't Which seems do real that. dumb. Don't, seems real dumb. Ah, don't the do twist is... I'm not gonna, we're not going to talk specific. No. What, what do you mean, Dad? It's been out for more than three weeks. You should be totally down with the spoilers just getting bandied about. No? That's, that's really odd. For, for what game did I wait for three weeks? Mark, you've got one in the chamber there. <laughs> What was it? Mark's like, did he, did he? No, Darren didn't do it for three weeks. It was a game that was out for several months. No, there was one recently that was only out for maybe a month or two at the most, and you were pretty liberal. Okay. What was it? I can't remember. Halo 5? Did you want a Halo 5 spoilers? Was that what it was? Maybe that, actually, yeah. Oh, no, I can't remember. But yeah, um, so I the twist is not handled excellently. I mean, it's a decent twist, but it's just like the way it's executed is just... Well, this is what happens when the main character wakes up in a pachinko manufacturing plant. That's that's, that's true. Uh, I didn't see that ending coming. <laughs> so what happens when everybody disarms is there's nobody left to fight off Konami. So yeah. everybody winds <laughs> up in a pachinko plant. Yeah, that's that's what happens to all your uh, diamond dogs. You're all that. <laughs> You're all diamonds, and then they all just get demoted to pachinko parlors. Um, but yeah, the the, the latter half, half, the latter part of that game, chapter two, uh, is was a real slog for me, like a real slog. Um, I found it real for myself, struggling to go back and put in the time to just get through all the missions, uh, and the it's. The structure of the story, the way it's like laid out across the missions, is just so uneven and ends up just being really disjointed and weird. And you know, there's missions where you like it. it it's meant to feel like this sort of cohesive thing of you're you're, you're going uh, from one place to another, either by running about or you go back to your attack. Like your your uh, what is it the aerial command center, uh, the helicopter to pick the new missions, but then there's ones that like end halfway through a plane crash and it says to be continued, and then you're just sitting back in the helicopter waiting for you know you can just go round and pick off a couple of side missions, and as well as just actual cutscenes is just not great. I'm done with that game, I think. You're not the first person I've heard say that. Yeah. It's, I mean, as a game, it is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best I've ever played, but in terms of the way the rest of that game is handled, apart from the actual gameplay, it's not great. You, should, you guys should play that game. <laughs> I have... Um, I should play that game at some point. I have Ground Zeroes um, available to download for me. And I probably would never will. So you, you should definitely play Metal Gear Five. As a but game, I it's I don't fantastic. want to though. But it's really, really fun. But you I also, don't, you I also don't care about Metal Gear, like. No, but you don't have to care about Metal Gear. Like that's what I'm saying. As a game, it is absolutely one of the best. But that's that's you. You said that about The Witcher as well, and I don't care about The Witcher, so I'm not going to go out of my way to play it yet. I'd say you'd ha you would definitely <laughs> have more fun with uh, Metal Gear Solid Five than The Witcher. Think? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a sandbox in the best ways. Like the 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 number of ways you can approach any situation is staggering. For like games like these days, don't games ever don't do scale to that scale. Um. Just be like, you know, you can go in guns blazing, you can go in stealthily, but it's also, you know, the little touches of, you know, tricking guys by having the poster of a soldier in the front, you know, sending in quiet to scope out the area, having D Dog with you to scope out the guys, just running in with D Walker and uppercutting people. 
There's a dog with a knife, man. Yeah, I've I've seen that. But yeah, it's it's genuinely a really fun a dog game. Dog with a knife. Wait, dog we're talking about Dark Souls here. Nope, dog with a knife. Yeah, Dark Souls. Carries, carries a knife around, and then bites it in its teeth, and goes and slits guys' throats. Yeah, Dark Souls. And... Dark Souls one or two. One. Okay, I have that to look forward to then. That game's fun. You didn't want to play exactly. You didn't want to play Dark Souls. I've never gone on record and said I didn't want to play Dark Souls. I don't believe that's true. I have no proof at hand, but I don't believe that's true. You are a man who very often makes grandiose, condemning statements about... Yeah, but Dark Souls wasn't one of them, I don't think. ...changing their minds. There's a, there's a very selective, very selective path years. for my wrath yeah. to go towards. I don't think Dark Souls was in that periphery. I don't think he's ever bad mouthed it. Just that, just that I guarantee you is not true. No, he's, he has expressed his desire to not play it because he didn't think he would enjoy it. But I don't think he's ever ripped into it. What mark have you made that's given this cam collected statement? It's actually I, I feel that the gameplay wouldn't benefit me in the way that it benefits no, I, others. No, he's, he said it in a mark where he looks too hard. Fuck that. Yeah, that's probably what I've said. Fuck that! Fuck that is pretty disparaging. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, I've not gone. Rec- I've not gone. Went well. Mercury is a pair of shit. So that's. I've not played that into Dark Souls, have I? It's not a pair of shit. Mark, hurry up and play Dark Souls. Mark, hurry up and play. Well, one, well, one I have multiple in there. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to. Yeah, I need. To, yeah, I've got Dark Souls. Oh, I was going to uh, say, have you got it for uh, Xbox for download? No, I've got the PC version. Ah, oh, uh, nice. You should play uh, Dark Souls Two. So I can watch you and laugh. Yes, it's it's on the cards. It's on the cards. I keep saying this to me, Mark. You've been saying this to me since it's last It's going to happen. It will happen. I just don't know when. <laughs> you can get your horse to poop on. Yeah. What else have you been playing, Ali? Uh, I think that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, that's a light week for you. That is a light week for me. I was like, do you know what? I'm sick of doing all the work around here. Game-wise. The rest of it, man. Let's see what you two have been up to. Mark, how was no. your week? How was your last uh, ten days? Fairly quiet. I'd like. To, I'd like to say there's. Uh, I'd like to say that I've done something that's fairly notable, but it's mostly just been. The fuck have I been doing? Making Mario levels. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, played like I'm still on the mobile train, like when I'm on the train. Yep. Uh, for King, uh, because of you and your fucking hell words, I started playing Neko at Sumi. Yeah. yeah! Um, See, my suggestions are amazing. It's, there's nothing to that game either, as nope. well. That's the worst part. Not in the slightest. It's, it's just like, hey, I'm gonna get cats and uh-huh. take pictures of cats. And, and how, how good God, you're not that playing game. that game, are you? Jesus. Yeah. How good is that game, Mark? One of the guys in work was telling me about that game last year, and I was like, what? This just sounds like the worst concept of a game ever. It's not a game. It's just a cat thing simulator. you check in on, and then... It's not it's a, a cat, cat simulator. It's, it's a cat simulator. simulator. <laughs> not really. It's a photography simulator where all you take pictures of is cats. So it's the best game ever. Game of the year 2015. The cat's butts yeah. have exes. The cat's butts do have exes. We'll get into game of the year later on. Who's your favourite cat? Um, I don't really have a favourite cat yet. Um, uh, mine, mine's is uh, Socks or Marshmallow. Marshmallow is so adorable. He's, the little, that is. he's the little, he's like grey and then he's got wee patches of dark grey around him. So he All looks right. like a wee toasted marshmallow. Oh. So that, game's, that game's bad. <laughs> that game's amazing. Um, but you're still playing it. Yeah, because it's like one of those things you go into, like you literally go into it for like three seconds, and that's you've done everything that there yeah. is to do there, and you're like, oh, but But see, okay. when you're doing that, you get to look at cats. I can do that here. Eh. These cats are adorable. Oh, that that was one thing that did happen. Uh, we took Zelda to the vets, um, mm-hmm. and she is one point away from being clinically obese. <laughs> You have so, a fat cat. We have a very fat cat. I believe the, the term was used was very overweight. 
So we I'm have to not that shocked day. that your cat has been pampered to yeah. obesity. Yeah. Giving, given its owners, it was only a matter of time. So cut down on the foods and the tuna. Little, little and, bit. Yeah. So Stop that, that, treating the cat like it's the Queen of Sheba. Waka waka. <laughs> Um, what else? I uh, played some more Tomb Raider Go. Uh, yeah, still, still enjoying that. that. Yeah. Um, they've add, like, added enemies and puzzles into the mix now. Um, so the stuff's starting to get a bit more complicated. Um, still waiting to see what the actual... If there's actually anything like really difficult in there, because most of the stuff has just been like fairly easy, like first attempt mm-hmm. to solve. Um, but yeah, it seems interesting. I don't know how long it is either. Um I'm fairly sure probably about halfway through already. Uh, let's see what else. Was, um, I've been playing uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution thanks to the fact that it's now backwards compatible on Xbox One. Did you... That... Wait, do you still have that copy that you can get rid of? Yeah, but also it was uh, free on Xbox Games with Gold. Ah, uh, that would be... Uh, ah, yeah, that would be so I just downloaded it and yeah, right. did it from that. Um, for some reason, the game looks way worse in the cutscenes than it does in that actually in-game. Really? Yeah, like the cutscenes look garbage. But then when you go into the in-game, it looks alright. How When did that game come out? 20... 2011. 2011, so what, God, five years ago. Yep, and that seems to be a time before they knew how to animate faces very well. Because A, the faces don't look that great, and B, there's no lip sync in there at all. It's just like straight up just like robot movements. It's that ironic, was, given the that was the, the game. same year Skyrim came out. Yeah, it was. And Skyrim was probably a much better, bigger and better looking game. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm giving it a chance, though. I'm, I'm going to try and get through it. Um, the controls are quite finicky. Yeah, I, I think I just tailed, tailed off that game. I think uh, everybody on this podcast tailed off this game. Yeah. I th- I think a big part, which obviously was one of the major criticisms of the game, was that I spec'd heavily towards stealth. And that kind of fucked really me harsh, over. That really hurts you in the boss fights. Because I think it was like not long after the first... I, I, only, I definitely only fought one boss in it, and it wasn't long after the first boss fight that I was like, nah. I thought you finished that game. No. Alright, okay, you, well you pretty much got to the same point Darren and I did. But... Yeah. Yeah, to the exact same point. So that's <laughs> pretty much we bo- we all got to New Tokyo and then stopped. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what was up with that. Maybe so I'm, go- I'm gonna try and plow further. It? I think he did because he was on about wanting to play the DLC. <laughs> Is that so, the last thing you remember Dave saying about games? Yeah, probably. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plow through that and see how far I can get without getting really frustrated because it'd be interesting to see what the changes they've made to the new one are that keeps getting delayed. So if it ever comes out, that should be interesting. Pre-order bonuses. <laughs> Ironically, um, like w- one of the things, because like, the Xbox One allows you to install the DLC that you've got on, already on your Xbox 360, so I did that, and it was like, thank you for pre-ordering the game. I was like, I do not remember pre-ordering this. Yeah, because you got the collector's edition. Yeah, but I don't think I pre-ordered it. I think I just you walked in your and bought it. fucking collector's editions. I haven't bought one ages. I can't remember. Yeah. Like the, the only one that I bought was for Therese. So that's... You, you went through a wee, a wee spate of it uh, a few years ago. And a that's because I was getting, that's I was getting giant really cheap. pile of <laughs> like, just tin cases and yeah. cat helmets. Although I do, have, I do have the Naruto one pre-ordered. So that's... Oh, collector's edition? Yeah. Oh my god. Mark, why? Because it comes with a statue and art book and who cares? And it's probably going to be the last one. So. Yeah. Well, the story's it's, finished. It's got uh-huh. nowhere to go after that. And they made the same. They made sometimes different games, sometimes the same game, with the same story over and over and over and over and over. They do it with Dragon Ball Z. I'm just waiting for Naruto Xenoverse. <laughs> Play that. <laughs> um, so yeah, but the only other thing I've really been doing this week is uh, more Mario Maker. Um, 
because Trez has been watching a lot of really bad TV like Real Housewives and Teen Mom and all that other terrible garbage TV. So um, I've been just bringing it to have it, playing some good old Mario Maker. Sent Darren a friend request. He still hasn't replied to it. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> and by so, that, he we'll means that his right Wii after. No, I, I, that's, that's, I see that every single day. Uh, I just completely forgot you sent me a friend request. <laughs> I wasn't intending on turning my Wii U until I bought a... Uh, a copy of Mario Maker because I don't think I'm buying it. And you should buy a copy of Mario Maker because that game's fucking awesome. Like uh, I would just sit through and play like the hundred Mario Challenge and just unlock new stuff. Yeah, I Nintendo's that, I'd probably play quite a lot as well. Just Nintendo's just like releasing new levels and costumes all the time. Like they just released a pigeon costume for some reason. And, like you press it up and it does like really weird like weird things on it. Um like I think the week before the like remember Super Mario Land for the Game Boy? Like uh, the, the, you could get in the plane. Well, there's like a plane costume with the Super Mario Land kind of graphics on it, and they come up with like stories to each thing. Um, so like it's it's pretty good, pretty good. I can hear Therese yelling at the cat through in the other room. <laughs> You're fine, shit. No, the other one, the, oh. the, the annoying one. Uh, she's getting really clingy right now, so everybody's just really annoyed with her. Uh, but apart from that, I'm working on. Uh, a pretty big level. Like the first level I uploaded was fairly small with like a couple of ideas in it. I'm trying to like amalgamate like a bunch of different ideas into the one level, and it might take me a while to do because I'm trying to figure out how to fill a lot of empty space. It's a shame. Mario Maker is a game that will 100% completely bypass me. And... Which is a real well, unless ah. like the the next Nintendo console is backwards compatible. Like, yeah, I would um... severely suggest. Because it's either going to take a dramatic drop in price once the NX come out comes out, yep. or for the NX to support Mario Maker for me to play it. Because I've not even bought a Wii yet. Every now oh, and really? again, you I must be able to pick up like thirty quid or something. Like, yeah, probably. They're everywhere. I got GameCube. Still not got any games for it. They're fucking expensive. Yeah, I've I've still got two little. Uh, CD sleeves that have got a bunch of games in it. Mark, and give me the, half of your. The pride and games. joy of my GameCube collection is PSO. You don't have to give me PSO, Mark. Give me some GameCube games. I, I yeah, need to find please. them first. That's, that's the best fine. PSO. It's all the all all the game you need for GameCube. No, but I can ju- but I can just play either Blue Burst or PSO two. Yeah, PSO two and Blue Burst are not as good as playing on GameCube. I'll live. <laughs> In fact, yeah, Blue Burst isn't even as good as playing it because they've, uh, the last time I tried to play that, it seems like they've carved out a lot of the old story content from it. So you just play it online with random. Yeah, so it's I remember super hard that. to get a group with. So I it's, know actually, it's not even PSO anymore. It's just crap. There seems to be a resurgence in that recently. I know that there are servers that have gone up that have kind of reversed it back to the way it was, um, which kind of had me tempted to go back. But... Um... Castrating strong on that one, because I go back to that, there will be no games played this year. So, well, yeah. Mark, what GameCube games do you have? Um, I can't remember what I've got left in my collection. They're worth uh, playing, anyway. Uh, WarioWare's great. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine's alright, if you've never played that. No, it's not. It's a terrible, it's a terrible game. I can't remember if I still have F-Zero. No paper I think Mario. I do, but I can't remember much of that, other than it being hard as nails. It was, like, ridiculously difficult. The thousand um, year door. Yeah, apart from that, like it's a bunch of third party stuff like Tony Hawk's and Soul Calibur and uh Tenny Tenny was good. Tenny Snowburning. Yeah. Um but yeah, like apart from that, if you're looking for good games like Rogue Leader and Rogue Squadron, mm-hmm. they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was a good game. What else? Yeah. That's that's about as much as I can think of. But yeah, like that's that's pretty much what I've been playing. I'm playing the show, Mario Maker, playing about do Deus Ex. I think I'm about four or three, four hours into that. Um, apart from that, some mobile stuff. Uh, hopefully get around to play more stuff over the next few weeks. So, so knowing where Deus Ex goes, have you been... That's the thing, I don't know where it goes. Not in terms of story, but in terms of really shitty boss fights. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I think I've got the preparation this that? time. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I have the pre-order pack or something, I know I have like a grenade launcher. So, like while I've been like pretty non-lethal, bar the opening sequence. Um, yeah. I've like 
I've always got like an over encumbered in- inventory right now because I can't get rid of any of the stuff because I've not reached my apartment yet. Um, I, think that, I think in that game there is an achievement for not killing anyone throughout the entire. Yeah, there totally is, but I don't know if I'm... for bosses. Yeah, right. Because you can't so, not kill bosses. Yeah, you have to kill the bosses. So does uh, that include the opening segment? Every every part of the game, I think. Did oh, even just given a um, rifle? I think that's counted as tutorial and not, yeah, maybe. Right, not okay. part of it. Because you need to kill people for yeah. the tutorial. Like, it teaches you how to shoot and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure you ha- you we'll soon see if I get to the end and haven't killed anyone. And then it's like, nope, you've I killed... I can't remember if it was... Day six, but the, I think it was that where I was trying to get that, or, or seeing how far I could get on that no kill, and then I shot a guy with a dart in the neck, and then he fell in water and drowned. <laughs> the... So it ended up counting as a death for me. Tourette, Tourette had a very similar experience to that with the, the Thief game that came out. Last year, was it? I heard no year before. You died twice. Yeah, um, there's I heard an that wasn't very good. It's not. It's garbage. It's that game's fucking terrible. Um, there's an achievement for getting through that game without killing anyone, and she didn't kill anyone. Uh-huh. But there was one point where she wasn't sure, because it doesn't really surface if you kill anyone. Like the stats for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, where a guard had spotted her. She was on a rooftop, and the guard ran through fire uh-huh. to go get her while still alive, and then died because of injuries through fire. That's not her fault. Nope, but it's still counted as a kill. <laughs> oh, because she was so, in combat. Yep. So uh, that, that game will never be played again. Uh, having played the first couple of levels, that that game will never be played again because there's actually a bug that prevents you from finishing the first mission in that game. It's fucking awful. That game. That game's terrible. Like. There's a um, yeah. The only game I played was three. It's good. Three's good. Really? I thought three got panned. Wait. Oh, thief. No. Yeah. Uh, no, three's supposed to be the good one. Really? I thought it was one and two. No, three's supposed to be the best one, isn't it? I thought three. I three. I three. No, the new one is the one they got panned. No, I know, I know, I know. But like before the new one even came out, I thought three was known as the one that was absolutely. Hot garbage, and I always enjoyed it, which confused me. What was the one with the level called Cradle? Because that's the one that's supposed I to be. I can't there. remember. Okay. It was what, Deadly Shadows or Dark Shadows or something like that. It was Either way, it's not the hot, hot garbage that is the the next generation version. That's fucking awful. Anyway, Darren, what have you been up to? I have been working lots. I know that feeling. Yeah, that's that's it. I've been learning to do my job and getting lost down many many deep rabbit holes doing research into how I would maybe solve something follow the white rabbit no no the white rabbit makes it worse you chase that white rabbit you end up down a very deep rabbit hole and it's difficult you, to get out of there you end up with Larry Fishburne offering you pills yep next thing you know you're tripping balls and the code doesn't even make sense it's like what mm. You wind up in CSI for some reason, and yeah. it's even worse. You end up in CSI Cyber. That show is ridiculous. Not watched an episode of it. You should. It's freaking hilarious. Like even to, even to someone that knows relatively nothing about computers, the two of you will laugh your asses off. But even just watch the episode that spawns it from CSI. I think it's like season twelve, episode seven, or something stupid like that. Well, is it, didn't they cancel the main one and then turn it into that? Because Ted Danson's in this, isn't he? He, uh, I think he appears in it now and again, but I don't know. I've not really watched much of it. I've watched the pilot episode and I think the first two episodes of the first season, and they're just hilarious. Like some of the things they can do in this TV show is just nuts. I know Miami got cancelled. Yeah, before New York for some reason. I know Miami was the best one. If you say so, I don't watch CSI. Well, apparently you do. You watch CSI Cyber. I've watched two episodes of it. There was a time when I watched a whole bunch of CSI. There was a time where I watched like the first six seasons of CSI Miami. I think, and I'd be, I, think I was watching the, all of them concurrently, wasn't I? Yeah, I, re- <laughs> I refused to watch uh, New York. And you were like, no, it's really good. It's like Gary Sinise is in it. And... He yells, where's the money into a phone? <laughs> And I was like, no, I'll stick with um, 
Miami and Vegas because they were the good ones. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, I haven't been doing a great deal of gaming. I've uh, been playing plenty of Destiny still because that's your got... Destiny. Yep, because it's my Destiny. It is my Destiny. Didn't uh, they have a lot of problems with like new stuff this week or something? Was there anything? was a Nightfall? Was it last week? I want to say last week or maybe the week before, where uh, you couldn't get beyond a certain point, but they patched that pretty quick and fixed it. That's what happens when you have a subsidized live team paid for by microtransactions now. Yep. <laughs> I've yet to take part in the microtransactions. Uh, the only things I have bought with silver is with the silver that they gave you for free. I was like, sure, why not? I'll buy some emotes, and that's it. Eh, that'll something. be the experience for like 80-90% of players. Yep. And it's those... 10, 20% that are fun. Those whales! Yep. Um, Destiny yeah, I'm, whales. I'm, I'm still kind of having fun with it. There's a few guys I've started playing with again in my clan, so it's making it more fun because, you know, social game. Can't play that game by myself without being super bored. Uh, rest of my time has been spent walking back to and from work or on trains to various parts of my surrounding area playing Pokemon. Because Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, what version? Uh, well, I've been occasionally playing Silver on my phone and playing a little bit of uh, Omega on my 3DS. Okay, I was about to say, because Blue and Red aren't out yet, are they? That's No, that's in March, I think, they come no, out. Mark, no, they no, came out in 1994. It's something like the 26th of February or the 3rd of March or something like that. It's, it's in the news, I know that. I can't yeah, remember where I'm is. probably not going to be buying them because the only reason I would buy them is if you could trade forward from them, which you won't be able to, because it's the Generation 1 versions and they're not going to be compatible with the Pokebank, probably. No, probably not. Or if they did, that would be crazy, but I don't think they would. Um, there is one other game I was playing, Pocket Mortys. Have you seen it? No. It's a Pokemon clone based on Rick and Morty. It's surprisingly good. It's thin, but it's good. Okay. Ali, I barely want to play an actual Pokemon game, and you're throwing Rick and Morty in there. Yeah, what's wrong with Rick and Morty? It's, it's excellent. Funny. It's excellent. Did you not say you only watched like the first episode? No, I watched like two, like the, a random episode where he was in like a simulation or something run by an alien. Yeah, that one's really. But David Cross, David Cross is in that episode. Yeah, but sometimes David, David Cross is in like fucking Madagascar or something as well. So don't even try that. I think the one you're looking for is Alvin and the Chipmunks. Okay, uh, there you go. But yeah, that's Rick and Morty's really good. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a plan for this week, but my gaming for the last few days has been pretty dull. Is the plan a no death run in Dark Souls? No, the plan is to do hard mode Oryx on Destiny, do a little bit of Dark Souls, probably not a no death playthrough, and to start playing Resident Evil Zero. Is that out? Yes, came out yesterday. Are you a fan of the Resident Evil Zero? It seems very polarizing. No, I don't. It's, it's in my opinion, the one of the worst of all the Resident Evils, but I do enjoy my Resident Evil. But it's it's not as bad as 5 and 6, but it's better than 4. Wait, better than 4? Yes, 4 was a crap game. Oh, you're one of those ones. Yeah, I, I hate randomized quick time events. I hate quick time events at the best of times, but randomized quick time events just fuck off. Let me tell you about this little game called Zur's Wrath. <laughs> it's terrible. No. Wait, I heard oh. that's the game where they didn't even sell you the ending. No, they did sell no, you the do. ending. No, they do. They didn't sell you the ending. I mean, to begin with, like, on the... the oh, episode, right, yeah. Ah, they, yes. didn't, they didn't sell you the ending when you first bought it. You had to wait to buy the ending later But on. that ending, holy shit. That doesn't... Um, did it no, involve, that doesn't make up did for it bursting, it. punching someone through the moon or something. I, 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 I was like, like, no, that's halfway through town. That's not even the end. Like, oh, is that I, the? Do you haven't fully paid for it ending? Oh, look, 
like I really hope that it goes on to games with gold then like becomes ex- like backwards compatible because I really want to play that. Again. Well, if it goes on games with gold, it's automatically backwards compatible because yeah, really I know, but like I, I, I really because I, I don't know where it is. I think it's in Dumfries free somewhere, but I really want to play it. We can only hope that it's been caught in the floods. <laughs> Thankfully, my mom and dad live like outside of the area where the ah. normal floods. So I need to find that, play that again. We only hope that someone has stolen it. And, and the only person who would agree with me on that one is like out of the country. Dave loved that game as much as I did. So. <laughs> and he was wrong too. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Yo. I, I gave that game a fair shot, a really fair shot, and it was you, you played the first level, if I remember rightly. It, uh, he, what, he lo- you do the armless fight, and that is terrible. Uh, you fight the giant elephant, that is also terrible. Oh, no, nobody's, nobody's like, saying anything about the combat of the game. The combat of the game's not very good, but, like, the spectacle of but that game... The is, but yeah, it's not pre- even... You like... hold right trigger and you burst. Oh, it's... Oh, it's just so not you hold good and you burst. No, no, it's right trigger. It yeah, comes yeah. up like flaming R- on the screen. RT to burst. Right, RT to burst. So, oh, yeah. it's just not. No, oh, it's so fucking good. No, it's not. There's, be- like, there's better games and there's better anime. If I could choose between Half-Life 3 and, and Azura's Wrath 2... I would that's choose not, Azura's Wrath Obviously, you would. That's not even a question. <laughs> what if I said to you a new WarioWare or a new Azura's Wrath? Azura's Wrath. You're a bad person. You're a bad <laughs> person who doesn't know anything about video games. I've already got my WarioWare kind of fix with Mario Maker, so there's no... That's not WarioWare. Don't you, you can, sully you WarioWare. Can make, you can make your own crazy you shit in Mario Maker. Sully so. WarioWare with Mario Maker, they are not. And there was Mark. a WarioWare not that long ago for Wii U, wasn't there? Mark, what no, if I said... there was a Rhythm Heaven. There was a Rhythm Heaven, was there not? What if I said you had a choice between Azura's Wrath Two and or anything a good, fully, a fully translated, playable, next generation version of PSO? Hmm. Not even PSO Two. PSO, the good. Wait, are, are we finding out that Azura's Wrath is Mark's favorite video game of all time? Yeah, no, was... you, you better not even go there. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would, I would probably choose, right I would probably now. choose the PSO, but like, I really want to see an Azura's Wrath too. Like, Why? Yeah, like, fuck you. Why? Just go watch. Like, go type in Linkin Park anime into YouTube, and you'll get basically what that game is. Oh, it's... Yep. You just don't understand. You, you've got serious just, issues, man. No, I'm not saying that would take it over the PS1. I'm saying, like, I really want to see an Azura's Wrath 2. I'm saying you've got issues, though. Maybe they will make that movie you one day. You didn't see where it went. Like, that, there was some of the stuff in that DLC that was crazy. Do you know where it went, Mark? Crazy. It went straight into the garbage. No, it didn't. Like, that DLC was fucking incredible. Sorry, not that DLC, that ending that they made you pay for. No, it didn't. You only found out. You only even found out about the secret ending if you like did an additional episode while doing this DLC. No, I mean like the you only found out about like the possibility of a different ending like if you completed like a secret episode. But did they not? Was it not? That is the actual ending is the one that they sold. Oh yeah, but then... you'll. But it leaves it like before the DLC. They leave it at a point where there's there is a satisfactory ending. But uh-huh. like you do like a secret episode, and there's like a to be continued at the end. And how difficult is it to get this secret episode? So not very. It's not very difficult. Not what very, you do no, is you actually a secret wallet, episode. get out your credit card and unlock it with that. Works for every Spring. Ubisoft game. <laughs> it works for every Ubisoft game. That's totally. And I'm not sitting here defending the Ubisoft games. But I'm telling you, the quality of that deal is fucking awesome. I'm not saying going, awesome. you know, Unity had its problems, but that microtransaction integration <laughs> was fantastic. phenomenal. May, may I remind you that Mass Effect 3 had a DLC ending? Yeah, that was free. Not anymore, it's not. Wait, what? That, can, that doesn't it, sound it was, right. It was free for, like, the first year of release. Really? Yes. Yep. Also, they had an ending, and that one was changed because people were moaning so much. 
Like, they were basically coerced into making that ending. Prince of Persia 2008 is a case where, yeah, that's a terrible example. Yeah. Uh, the Catwoman DLC comes quite close. What one? Arkham City. That was that was the just... online passness of it. Yeah. That was awful. I'm not. I'm not defending the practice of that. Should have been on the disc, but mm -hmm. what that was was fucking awesome. And like, not like your no, I mean, like, wrong, Mark. I mean, objectively, like some of the stuff they did in that was pretty fucking cool. See if that was released as an just an anime, an episodic anime. Would you buy it? What do you mean if the game had come out just episodically, or like just the cutscenes, and they fill in the see the bits where it's like. You like the important parts where you're fighting. They just made new fights. Like I would the, rather that they went back. And... I'd rather they went back and changed it and made the combat better. I'd rather because, they went back and the made stuff that's in the quick time events is, mm. is like you don't really get the full experience unless you're actually doing it. You don't get the full experience of pulling RT to, to burst. I don't think you realize what a glorious experience that is, Ellie. <laughs> I did it several times. You didn't do it enough. Do you know her? why? Because there was a giant fucking elephant in my way that was just horrible to fight. That fight, I think that fight after that is the one that's on the moon. I can't remember. I need to play that again. I need to play that again. Game. It's, a, it's a terrible game. The fact, that, the fact that you're saying that Azura's Wrath is possibly one of your favourite games ever. I didn't say that. I did not say that. that yeah, those were words I, that were put in my mouth. The, no, no, no. Those words were put in your mouth by the fact that you kept ranking it above everything else. Yeah. No, I didn't. I just if I was to choose between Half-Life and that, I would choose that. The fact that and you hesitated towards PSO or that game having a And sequel. said over uh, WarioWare. Because I'm fairly sure there's in been fact, a WarioWare in at least the last three years. In fact, you want to know how wrong your opinion is? Your opinion is as wrong as Ali's weird love of freaking Adam Sandler. And I, as you know, Mark, the evidence will show that I love me that Adam Sandler... Oh, you do. Yeah. he's so funny. I'm hoping in that there's three more donkey diarrhea jokes in the other half of that movie. I bet you do. Oh, it's... I don't think you, I don't think you need to hope. There probably is, Ellie. To be honest, G, G, David Spade still to make an appearance, and I just I'm bubbling with excitement at how bad Azura's Wrath is. I like Azura's Wrath. Unapologetically, I I just find it I just find it absolutely baffling that you will say that Azura's Wrath ranks so highly and you wouldn't even consider playing a game that I am literally saying to you is one of the best playing games of all time. You're a monster. Mark. I don't care about Metal Gear. The, the you don't have fact, to care about Metal Gear. No, but the fact, the fact that it is Metal Gear actively puts it off, like puts me off it. That's, again, one of these sweeping Mark statements that is just prejudice <laughs> for no reason. You, and, your, like your, it, your reasoning for it is, I don't like it because I don't like it. No, it's because I like I don't care. Like This is the fifth one. I don't care about any of the story at this point. I don't care about any of the characters. Which is great, because do you know what, Mark? There's fuck all story in this one. But it's like, if I was to play any Metal Gear game, it would probably be Revengeance. Like, that's the only one that I would really play, because that's more of my style of game than what... Only... No, but in terms of story, that's more of your style of game, because it's anime. No, in it terms of what it is. Even though most of Metal Gear is anime. In you terms know, of Mark, what it is. I would at least accept your weird uh, thing for Azura's Wrath. It was for a good game. Like, I would choose a remake of... Uh, Metal Gear 1 over almost anything. As in Metal like, Gear 1 or Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid. I somebody's want doing Metal... that, aren't they? No, no one's doing that. I want a Metal Gear remake. No, I, mean, I would, somebody, I would really enjoy a Metal Gear it. remake as well. Like, and they're, full, they're... like just do Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 full remakes. Yep. No, I would choose Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid remakes over you could name almost any title. Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, I'd care not for any of that piece of shit. World of Warcraft. Yep. Choose over a World that. of Warcraft remake would be hilarious. I would choose over a World of Warcraft remake. Dark Souls. That's Whoa. why would you? Why would you remake Dark Whoa. Souls? Oh, because it'd be great next gen Dark Souls. Whoa. 
Dark Souls. Oh wait, yeah. Dark Souls 3 is happening. I've already got that wish. Uh, there must be something. Fancy Star work. Online. Nope, just Metal Gear over. Oh, really? okay. Metal Gear Solid 1 is, at the, especially at the time, is a, it was a fantastic game. But regardless of even if you even if you had not played one through four, I would just still tell you to play five. The story is so minimal in that game that you could. It's most of the mission stories are. There's this guy. We're not going to name him because that would involve naming people. Just go and either kill him or extract him, and have all the fun in the world doing it. I'm okay. I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm not just. I'm not disagreeing that it could be a fantastic game. It's just not in my wheelhouse. So I'm gonna buy you like a box set of anime and one of those clicker counters and just let you go nuts. <laughs> it's not the same as pulling a trigger, Ali. And a and, gun. And it has to be on fire. <laughs> Moving on. Will we go on to news? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, unless Darren's, Dar- I think Darren's falling asleep. Nope, Darren's still here. Uh, you look asleep. No, he's on his phone. I can see the reflection. Yep, I was on my phone. Um, so yeah, so we move on to news. Mark, open us up. Uh, well, am, am I reading the news? Yeah. Apparently so. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, so Hitman is no longer going to be what it was initially supposed to be. Um, it's going episodic. I've known we've all known that for a while, have we not? No, no fully episodic now. Like there was, weren't they supposed to release like a certain amount of episodes to begin with? So it, it was supposed to be like um, what I got from it was Joe. I thought the initial was supposed to be Paris and something else, and then I was going to be period releases after that, suggesting to me episodic game. I think it's more like a. It was more framed as like deal, or you know, the way like Mario Maker or Splatoon is. That they would continue adding things post release for free, or I don't like that. that, that I'm, game that that I don't you? know. Like, uh, I, I don't know whether they were going to consider it paid or not. But um, what I, I got was it was basically Hitman Absolution, the like the multiplayer of that, where you set up your own kills and stuff, but just fully fleshed out into a game. Uh, I've I've accepted from stuff that I read. I assumed there was going to be an episodic game anyway. So the way that they're structuring it is that the prologue in Paris levels will be fifteen dollars, and then every subsequent add-on after that will be ten. Yeah. Or you can uh, buy it all for sixty or something, isn't it? Yeah, but that version isn't going to be available until afterwards. Is that correct? I don't think it announced a season pass or anything for it. Mm. I'm sure I read a ver- uh, something about it that said you could buy it all. Oh, wait, yeah, there you go. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. they weren't doing a physical release until after yeah. everything was done. It would be like a physical, it was either 65 or 70, I think. Yeah, so the, the initial pack would cost you $15, and then after that, it would be 50 So that would probably be like, what? Buy four, get one half price. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyone still care about Hitman at this point? Yes, I still like Hitman. I really enjoyed what I played of Absolution. Um, I will always like game, Hitman because Blood Money was just the most fantastic game ever. Did you play Absolution at all? Yes. Yeah. Didn't complete it, but I enjoyed playing it. Yeah, uh, same it with me. It wasn't like the, the best Hitman game I've ever played, but I still had a lot of fun with it. I, I, I think it did a lot of interesting things. Yes. Uh, it was it was flawed in a lot of big ways, but I yeah. like it. The core of it came through enough that it was still a really enjoyable experience, especially if you like that kind of, like like they built on what Blood Money did. Well, I think they had a few notes with the tractors, like you, no matter what costume you got into and how little suspicion you created getting into that costume, you were always found out in that costume way too quick. Ah, yeah, like, I found that. Everyone some... just seemed to know that you the repair man that they have never met before in their life is somehow an assassin. Yeah, and... and There's no way for you to know that, man! Because they had the thing where you could, like, it was like the special meter where you could hold your cap in front of your face, but that would be over in, like, two seconds, and then you're just caught again. Yes, like, you've never seen me before, so I don't need to cover my face. I'm 
I am as much as a stranger as the actual guy who was coming to repair your whatever it was. Yeah. Um, but the, the, in terms of the the missions and the way you could take different people out, uh, especially that like you know that first level uh, in the China the Chinatown market. Yes. Did a really good job of that of like opening you right into that game and it's like here's a bunch of different ways that you can go about this. I absolutely loved I, I spent hours and hours on that level, one yeah. finding all the wee bits that you had to find and uh, also some of the really ridiculously creative kills you could get. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to plant a bomb on this transfuser box or whatever which I can detonate from the other side of the map that causes it to fall into a little pool of water that will kill the guy as he walks past. Yeah, I'm going to uh, you know, knock out the sushi guy and then when he comes to eat some sushi I've poisoned it yep. disguising myself as the sushi chef and it's really, even, really you fun. Know, going on top of a three story building and just sniping someone, <laughs> be totally unsubtle about it. Yeah, or walking over to him when there's an elevator shaft open and just nudging them in <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. I really. Oh, I, I hope that's what they. I hope that's really what they bring forward in yeah, the new yeah, one. Yeah, just like tons of different kills. That's all I want. All I want is like more variation on top of blood money. The blood Hitman. money was great. Blood, uh, blood money was the the pinnacle of uh, Hitman for me. Particularly the the opera house level. I loved that. I played one mission of that game and then never played it anymore. Was well, it the first yeah. mission? Yep. Let's go back and play that, Mark. It's really good. I don't have it. I got rid of it. No, he was standing at the opening part of the game and he was just mashing A and he was wondering why like <laughs> Hitman wasn't why bouncing off burst? the rocks. Yeah, and it's weird. Uh, other news, uh, PewDiePie has launched his own network. Yeah. With other YouTube personalities. Define uh, network. Like, I don't know, he's called it Revel Mode. Uh, it's apparently a new enterna- entertainment network, so whether or not he's doing his own thing on a website, I'm not entirely sure. Um, apparently he's linked with Disney, so it might be an online channel, might be a channel, don't know. Um, everybody on it is the dickhead. So there's not really much well, to go that's on. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? They're they're partnering with PewDiePie. He's yeah, the, he's already a massive tool. Man, it's like just the empire he has built is just fascinating. What's more fascinating is the the why aspect of it. What do you mean the why? Like I don't understand why he's so popular. It's it's one of those things that's just like you know. For a really short period of time in UK history, Dom Jolly was ridiculously popular. It's he's yet another short-lived celebrity. He'll die off soon enough. See, short-lived. He's been around for quite a while now. Yeah, but he's not been as immensely popular as he has been in like what's the last it, year, year and a half. But it's, it's been, it's just been like up. Yeah, for it's, him. it's it's been a, a continuous slow build. At, the, at, the, um, absolutely, build. like. Um, his I, bubble will burst at a certain point, yeah. and uh, but I don't think it's it's a lot more than just a flash in the pan. I think. Well, he has like what forty-seven million subscribers on YouTube. More, Is that right? more than that. Like, I, I, was, I think it's a hundred million. Uh, Is it? Or was one hundred forty-seven million? I can't even remember. Um, but like, how much do you think he would get view, like views per video? He has like 41.7 million subscribers and 10.9 billion views. Okay. So how many views do you think per video he normally gets on average? Uh, he put up a video... I'm asking you to look. I'm asking you to guess. <laughs> about 2 million per video. Yeah, so he's, so he's roughly getting about like 5%, like about 5% of what he has to it looks like subscribers. He, like I'm just having a quick glance on his first page and it ranges between 2.2 and 5.5 million. So that makes me wonder whether or not the bubble is starting to burst or... I think, you know, for, I mean a million views and 2 million views in a day. I think I would happily kick the shit out of him <laughs> and accept the consequences. 
Jealousy is an ugly colour on you, Darren. No, no, I, I have no jealousy from like you know, good on the guy for doing so freaking well, but he's just such a douche. I'd kick the hell out. Yeah, I, I, I think that's just part of the part of the act, like you know, the overexcited, really terrified act. It's like that. Um, like I've got one or two people on my Facebook that keep posting videos of that stuggy motherfucker. I have I, no idea I, who that is, and I, I would want beat the shit out of that asshole as well. Like I think he started off doing vines or something like that, so you know, just like six second videos, but uh, they've extended. So I keep getting like every couple of days, someone posts like, "Hey, Stuggy's vine video." I was like, "Oh, fuck off! Just That's fuck you, man." Well, if it's who I, I think it is, I'm in full agreement with that. It's like, see if like the zombie apocalypse ever comes. I'm not just going to chop off that motherfucker. Saying I'm going to brutalize that corpse. Come to this park and Darren will fight you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Darren's just got uh, a big list of people he wants to fight. No, just those two. <laughs> just those two people. <laughs> those two people. Stuggy and PewDiePie. And Donald Trump. <laughs> three people. Yeah. I said those three people. <laughs> Meet me in the park. Oh no, and Kanye West. That's your list oh, yeah. is getting longer as you remember more people who annoy you. I think that's it. Just those I think people. rather than your list is short, I think you just have a bad memory. No, oh, just those four people. Oh, those four people. Do yeah, we continue just, on with the news then before Darren says anything? Yeah. <laughs> Kanye West, Donald Trump, Stuggy and PewDiePie meet him in the park in two hours, and he'll fight you. Yeah. Uh, the Witness has appeared on an ESRB listing for Xbox One as well as PC Which and PS4. Is interesting, because I thought, I mean, he was pretty. Yeah, he was pretty adamant that that game was going to be a PS4 only. Yeah, and I, I thought it would be at least, you know, a certain amount, a decent amount of time before it would even. I, I, I didn't think it would never come to the Xbox One, but I didn't think it would be, like, rumored about so. So the way the way he was initially talking was that there, it sounded like there was going to be no way that it was going to be on any other platform because he vitriolically hated the way that Microsoft ran indie development last year. Uh, or last so what, generation. Yeah, well, sorry, the last generation. And um, it's been almost a decade since I know, right? came out. It's crazy. Um, so whether or not because the witness just had an extensive delay from when it was supposed oh. to ship. Yeah. So a it makes me wonder if that thing is still exclusive anymore. Because anytime Sony talk about it, do they still say the word exclusive around it? Did they ever? Yeah, of course. They 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 had it in the three press conference. Remember? But I did. Did they, did they say exclusive? Yeah, the console mm. exclusive. Um, so it makes me wonder if a it's exclusive anymore. B has Phil Spencer somehow wormed his way to cool talk to Jonathan Blow and everything's patched over. Um, or has something happened with Sony and him, given that the development for this game has been so goddamn long? Um, I, th I could see it being a case of Microsoft of, you know... Giving him enough money. Or, you know, have improved their indie relations, and he might have an exclusivity deal with Sony, but it's... It's probably only a timed one. You gotta wonder about that because there was no word of like timed exclusivity in any of that. They, ne it was just... they never say timed exclusivity. They never. Well, they they, never they, say they've anything. got better at saying it now. Ever since the whole Tomb Raider thing, they've got better at saying timed exclusive. Yeah, because the I think Sony's spiel now is console first. Yeah. Like with the Final Fantasy remake. Um, well, that yeah, appeared on stage. They were that. like. Console first. Yeah, they got very good at saying that during well, the three. Does that not just mean that it's not going to come to PC immediately, and then it'll come to PC later rather no, than that, Xbox? No, console it means first. it means they're the first console to yeah. get it off of any of the platforms. Okay. See, Mark, you'll be able to play the Witness, maybe. Yeah, that's which is weird because um, that's one of the like only games right now that I'm really excited for for the PS4. Like, if I was to buy a PS4 right now, like, Bloodborne is about the only thing I'd really play on it. Um, so, again, this is... Put... Yeah, but that's not till... The Nathan Drake collection? No, I've, I've already played those games, I'm fine with it. But, um, 
second quarter is when Uncharted comes out, so I can happily wait until then. Um, and then you can buy another copy of Dark Souls 2. Or I can work through the one that I have. Or uh, pick up Dark Souls 3. Yeah, well, that's on the plan anyway, so... We'll if you pick up that. Dark Souls 3 and you're planning on maybe picking up PS4, you should totally buy it for the PS4, and that way you have someone to party with. I don't, I don't think the PS4 purchase is going to happen for a little bit, but... Um, I keep looking for a reason to buy an Xbox One, and it's still the best reason I have is the rear replay. I keep looking for a reason as well, and the only reason I'm kind of getting is Quantum Break, and I'm getting less excited about that. Like, I was really excited about it at first, and now it's kind of like, eh... I don't know, there's a bit of the Halo's good, Sunset Overdrive is really good. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. The, the only Halo game like... I've played is Reach from beginning to end. Yeah. I, I played every single one up until Reach. Played Reach, and then it's Halo 4 just kind of went by me, and that was it. Which is weird, because Halo 4 was okay. It wasn't. I don't know why it passed over everyone, because it was alright. But um, well, Reach was really good. So yeah, like maybe really it was just a bit of disappointment. It was the first one fully done by three four three. Possibly because that game is still one of the best looking games on Xbox three sixty. Like Halo yeah, Four looks I, and fantastic. I, for me, at least, it was partly that I was hoping they'd go in such a different direction, and they just didn't with the uh, Halo Four. Yeah. At the time, I was like, oh, great, so it's mostly just the Covenant again? Okay, I'm good. Wait. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was mostly Forerunner. It was, was it mostly that's... Forerunner? Yeah, like, there were sections where there were Covenant, but, like, very... Maybe about two or three missions, not very many. There's more Covenant in Halo 5 than there is in Halo 4. Well, you've just put me off Halo 5 as well. No, because... <laughs> It's narrative, like, I didn't see you fight them. Well, no, you do, actually. Because there's, like, a civil war and stuff. Like, you fight. So it's Halo 2 again? Kind of, yeah. Like, in more ways than one. I'll just play Halo 2 again. You can if you buy the Master Chief Collection. Or I just could. I reckon by the time you buy an Xbox One, that game will be really cheap. But then I want to know what's going on, because Halo 4 and... I've not played Halo 4. But it'll be in the collection. I don't want to play the collection. Choice is there for you, Ali. The only game I would want to play in the collection isn't in the collection. I'll play Which, Halo 4 yeah. and 5 <laughs> when but you, you ha- play Metal Gear Solid 5. No, it's not happening. Exactly, that's not, my point. I'm not asking you to that's play Halo. That's my point. <laughs> I'm not asking you to play Halo. Because Halo isn't one of the best games ever made. The first one? Four and five. I, I, no one's disputing that. <laughs> Which is why you're not asking me to play them, but I'm asking you to play Metal Gear. Keep up, Mark. No, I'm alright. And Halo 1, going back now, is fucking hard to play. Yeah. Uh, having been, bear in mind, I've played through all the Halos in the last year. So, the movement, uh, yeah, the movement in it is... Weird. Like, like yeah, yeah, you feel like you're moving through treacle. Yeah, it's like moving a tank. And then you forget all the grenades chain react and you blow everything <sighs> up. It's so good. Right, we need to get through this this what? news because I have groceries coming. So Maybe um in your groceries. Uh EA access is free to Xbox One users right now from the nineteenth to the twenty third, but also um they've announced their PC platform as well. Cool. Which uh, comes with free, uh, 15 free games, which are Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, Dead Space, uh, all the Dead Spaces, mm-hmm. bar that weird Wii one, uh, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Inquisition. All the Dragon Ages. <laughs> yeah. FIFA 15, Need for Speed Rivals, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, Sims 3 Starter Pack, SimCity, and This War of Mine, which is. I suppose is an okay collection for three pound twenty nine a month. Yeah, I'm. So are they the free games? Those are the free games. 
Or is that the PC ones? That's the PC. The, the free games right now, everything you'll get access to is in the vault. The only thing. Oh, you'll just get access... oh, right. Okay, so that, that uh, and this is just what's coming to the PC immediately. Yeah. Which is yeah, all right, but you know, three Battlefield games. Would it not have three, been better? Three, three Dead Space, three Dragon Age. I, yeah, like Dead Space, I can kind of see. You know, like they're yeah, there's not a story there at least. But do you really need three Battlefield games? Like, you know, at they could put it this way: at least they're the active ones. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I don't see nine hundred forty-two on there, Mark. Uh, but like, you know, you could have put it hardline and then focused on getting a couple of other games out, and then gone and put four and three on. But for three pound twenty-nine a month, it's not. Absolutely it's not. I'm not. I, I'm not saying that it's that it's like too much money or whatever. I'm. I, I'm just think they could have used those spots a little bit better, uh, and I'm not saying hugely. Even just a couple of different changes would have made that list a lot more appealing. Yeah, probably. Um, um, so it could be interesting to see what the take up is because people were pretty positive about the Xbox yeah, One I, version. It, it definitely uh, depends on what and when they add more stuff. Yeah, and considering. Um, it's going to be linked with Origin. Um, yeah. It's going to be interesting what to do Because, you know, if that's the only list of games for, you know, three months, then I could see that list getting a bit stale. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The uh, Leslie Benzie from uh, Rockstar North, uh, who has been with the company for 20 years? Since before Perfect. it was a company. Yeah, since before it was Rockstar. Yeah. Uh, since it was, like, DMA, um, like, has left the studio. Which isn't really surprising, considering the guy's been making GTA games for 20 years. That's not true. He helped in other games. Yeah, he helped on Red Dead and Manhunt, but um, I think he was actively involved in nearly all of those. So, I mean, if you're with a company for 20 years, that's pretty much unheard of in like this sort of business, and with your, oh, unless yeah. you're with like a big publisher. Unless you are the name behind the company. <laughs> yeah, and like, given that. Like some of the rumors around how Rockstar treats its staff anyway, Aye. like the severe burnout that's involved in a lot of the projects, it's surprising he's made it even like half as long as that. So, uh, it'd be interesting to see where he goes next. But I'm sure I'm assuming that he could just walk into a job at any company with a CV I like that. Know, 20, 20 years of making almost the exact same game. It's kind of twenty years of consistently making the highest selling game. <laughs> This is true. Well, bar yeah. Red Dead and typecast. But he's, he's typecast himself into one particular style of game. Like, who says he's gonna do well creating something else? Yeah, he's fucked. Yep. Absolutely. Really he, his guy. career is ruined. Exactly. I'm glad you agree with me, Ali. <laughs> oh, breaking news! He just got picked up by the Saints Row team, so he's gonna be doing the same thing for the next oh. twenty years. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow are th- launching in February, as we talked about earlier. Apparently, the eShop date for this region is the 27th. Um, and it's uh, going to uh, it's going to in, like include um, the ability to wirelessly, so because we don't link cables don't exist yep. anymore. So uh, there's internet added to this. I know. Pokenet. Yep, and uh, I should say it's eShop only, isn't it? Yeah, I'm fairly sure. Ah, uh, yeah, will be. Yeah, it's it's virtual store only. Yeah, so right. and it, yeah, because they're bringing out a bunch of new 3DSs as well. But even then, the game will be preloaded onto those on an SD yeah. card. So, yeah, that's. Anyone gonna pick that up? No. I did consider it, but as I said earlier, it's I only even consider it if I could trade those Pokemon forward, not just for them to. Hey, I completed Pokemon Red again. Yay! I have Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow sitting upstairs. And Gold. I have Blue, and but I don't have the means Ruby. to play. No, sorry, I have Red, but I don't have the means to play it anymore. So. I have Red and the means to play it, but they're. Or do I? No, I've got the Game Boy Advance still. I can still. Yeah, play. I've still got a Game Boy Advance because no, the uh, 3DS doesn't have. Nope. Nope. SD uh, cards only. Uh, SD cards only. Because it can play normal DS games, that's the only thing. Yeah. Well, 
and 3DS games. You're thinking of the uh, was it the DS could play DS games and GBA games? Yeah, yeah. Aye. Uh, that's probably about it for news. Uh, we didn't touch on the fact that the writer of the Half-Life series had left Valve last week. That was about the only thing we left off. Mm. But um, given that that game, if they were making a Half-Life 3, it would have been written, what, like a decade ago? I don't think there's much to worry about there. Yeah. They're, re- they're working in conjunction with the Asura's Wrath people to make the world's most disappointing game. Right trigger to make Gordon Freeman talk. So we're almost three. There's weeks. no right trigger on the PC. <laughs> or is there? Depends <sighs> if you get a control pad. <laughs> or one of those Vive remote things. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so is that us? Uh, or, no, or I saw we... the um, Oculus price got uh, leaked, or rumored at least. The Oculus price? You mean the thing we talked about last week when you said it went on pre-order? Not the Oculus. I th- uh, the PlayStation VR, I think. Yeah. I mean, two I things to have a didn't see that. I know there was talk of the Vive uh, being priced around $1,500 yeah, back in the It's um, significantly lower. Um, Swiss it's, store yeah, listed at uh, £350. Yeah. Uh, it was only earlier today that it got. Uh, All right, okay, that's that it came out. Yeah, um, working. So yeah, um, it will come out to around three hundred and forty to three hundred eighty pounds, uh, which is a lot better than the Oculus. Did they say where those figures came from, or is that uh, Swiss, Swiss retailer? retailer. So yeah, it's just it's uh, four hundred four hundred fifty to five hundred euros. So it depends on what that comes through when it comes over here, but euros to pounds tends to work out. Like, we tend to get screwed the same way that the Europeans do. Um, I don't know. Like the conversion between euro and pound usually is about accurate. It's when you want to compare euro or pound with the dollar that you... Exactly, use which is in, so. why it's quite good that it's leaked through a Swiss one rather than an American yeah. one yeah. doing it through dollars, where, you know, we could probably add... We could probably just convert that into pounds, and that would be the price. Uh, with euros, it tends to be you, it works the same way as the exchange rate. Roughly. Part of me, part of me thinks that yeah, okay, it's good to have this details out, but part of me also wonders whether or not this will be a preemptive pre-order price rather than a leak. Yeah. You know how... Yeah. Like, hey, so, get the to, to pre-order it, and then they'll get shafted yeah. when we actually push the price up to six hundred quid. So it'd be, it'd be pretty interesting to see if it was like the price of this may change or whether or not as you are locking into that price. Yeah. It'd be interesting um, to see if they just pulled an Oculus Rift like, hey, we're going to be 350 quid but on 600. <laughs> I really, 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 really want a VR headset. I'm interested in it, but as I've always said, I'm not too interested in Generation 1 tech because I think it's going to be quite eh. I'm more interested in Generation 2. When it's going to be uh, decent priced and cheap. Absolutely, like um, I totally understand that, but it's um, you know, enough people have to pick up the generation one, otherwise, uh, you're you don't get generation two coming along because not enough people have bought it. You need that investment. Yeah, and there's going to be enough people to do that, which is why I don't need to bother. Hopefully, the there's a lot of push. I, 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 yeah, I see that being very popular. It, it, it also depends on what one's popular. You know, as like, I think, as long the, as one is popular, they will all mimic the one that was popular for the next generation. But if you like, say the Oculus is really popular, that does really well, but PlayStation VR doesn't sell that good. Um, Sony's going to have a much harder time courting developers to make games for it, which means you fall into another connect like situation of just we're kind of making the games that we can make for it because no one really wants to. I don't know. I think if you can get a successful push on one platform, it's not going to be too difficult to say, hey, that game that you're already making for PC, how about you bring it across to PlayStation? But is it worth the money? Is there enough of a user base? It's, it's, I. I just worry about the next year or two for VR is going to be really interesting. It's going to, it's real sink or swim time, and 
by another year, I'd say we've got we'll have an idea of whether VR is going to be sticking around. Oh yeah, we definitely need to wait to the release date to see how it's, um, it's going to go. But I think there's a, a solid chance for it, like better than it's ever been. Oh yeah, I mean before now, I mean this is closer to re, you know VR, virtual, virtual reality. You know the holiday. <laughs> yeah, but everyone's always said that at every generation of every computing I... thing ever. Like, oh my god, the graphics are just so much closer to life. Like, <laughs> not like, quite. Like there my yet. my vivid memories of Resident Evil, like director's call, the original on PlayStation, are far different from what they actually are. Yeah, yeah. I used to think that Solid Snake had a face in Metal Gear Solid. He doesn't. <laughs> He does. Yeah, he has no that, eyes. Until that motherfucker expressed. Oh, I know. I thought I was like, people have never looked so. I don't look this real. <laughs> he doesn't have eyes. Yeah. Um, but you. We're at a stage where the VR can come through and into or integrate itself with the rest of games fluidly in a way that. You know, you know that's worthwhile. Whereas the last VR push was what the eighties, when yeah. games were still like relatively young. Never mind the virtual technology. You know, screens think, weren't that good. I think we've come a long, long way, and I think it absolutely it's a, it's a good time for it to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, think virtual, I think virtual reality has always had the possibility of being big and being popular no matter what generation. It's just now it can be in your house. Yeah. Um, Beforehand, you re- you know, you'd literally required to buy tens of thousands of pounds worth of equipment and it would take up an entire corner of your room in order to get it to work. But now yeah. it's a head, something you can stick on your head. And again, it's... It... Well, the vibe is apparently still going to be that because you need the terror sensor thing to... Yeah. See. So and, it just depends on what goes with what. I mean, that's why, like, you know, I can't get a Vive. I can't fit. I, I would not be able to use it in here. It's the Kinect problem of there's not enough space. Yeah. So, do, like, do those games require, like, you know, do the games that come out for the Oculus or for the... Um, for the PlayStation VR, like you know, when it, obviously there are already games that come out for it, but the big push, you know, when it really starts taking off, do those games require a lot of movement, or are they very stationary? And like, how does that play into how the game plays? I think and how... that's that's going to be entirely down to the developer. Like, you know, it could entirely yeah, be no, that you're sitting down on a chair with a joystick, and that takes care of your your three axes of motion, but you've got the freedom to look around with your head. Yeah, and and that's why I just think it's going to be, it's... I think VR's got a good shot, but there's so many factors in it that it could just all crumble to the ground. I think it just depends on the the promise of titles. Uh, If you get, like, a game that like, for me, uh, Alien Isolation would sell me that by itself. Well, Alien Isolation has been confirmed to be yeah, I know. VR, so. <laughs> I'll already be buying it so I can play Alien Station because that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, um, was, and similar tales, I think I would only really use VR for super immersive games like that. And porn. Uh, you know, things like Soma or, yeah, you know, uh, Pornhub eventually when it integrates VR. But, and to, yeah, VR but you know, I, I couldn't see myself playing something like Dark Souls or... You know, Dragon Age or whatever on a VR what headset. If Dark Souls was first person. Then you would vomit <laughs> every time you do a roll. Like, Bruh! I can roll without vomiting, Darren. I guess Go the test case for that it would for that would be if they bring out Mirror's Edge, that VR compatible. But I know v, uh, AA have actively gone on record and said that they are not developing for e, uh, VR just now until the market shows itself. I don't think that's an unfair statement. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I like. I've never worn a VR headset, and I really, really, really want to. I've tried Google Cardboard, um, and it didn't work particularly well. Mm. Um, I don't know whether that was the demo or whether that was my phone. Um, but so far, my experiences with VR have not been fantastic. Has your, your entire <laughs> experience with VR been well with Google Cards? With been what? Has the entire entirety of your VR experience been Google Cards? Do you know what Google Cardboard is? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. vaguely. So Enough. You, it's so it's, you make literally a card yeah, uh, it's, and plug your yeah. phone in. So you're you're essentially doing this. Yeah. So yeah, basically, what basically what Mark is saying is, I've not tried VR and my experience with VR has not been very good. No, no I've, I've, like Mark's saying, I've done VR. I put my phone in front of my face. Yeah, the, you're right. You're but absolutely right, Mark. It's, VR it's not, I no, can't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said the only experience, the, however limited that was, wasn't particularly great. So it'd be interesting to see what using a Vive or using an Oculus or using a PC, PlayStation but, VR would be like and see the difference. That's just silly, Mark. That's like me saying, I'm writing off all of anime because Azura's wrath is shit. Have I said that I was writing that off? No, I didn't. I said I'd be interested to see what the difference is. In I both know. Them. My um, point is, Azura's wrath is shit. <laughs> My last experience with VR was a long time ago. Was the eighties. Yeah, it was the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, the last time VR was big, I tried it back then, and it was fucking cool. I've uh, used a Virtual Boy once, and it was awful. I, I, I mean, I had one of those games. You know, you hold it up, and it's the visor, and there's the buttons and the sides. What the clicky thing that you flick through the pictures? <laughs> no binoculars. I mean. <laughs> Standard set of binoculars. It's so real. It's a lion. Um, but yeah, VR seems cool. Yep. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what important. stuff comes out. VR of that. seems expensive. Yes. Oh yeah. That's the other part of that. All the cool toys always are, though. And on that note, will we wrap things up? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta go put away groceries now. Uh, so. Life chores and all that. Yep. Yeah. So will we? Will we be trying? Try and get back next week, next Tuesday. Yep. Okay, I'll try and organize things for next week. Next Saturday. No. Yep. Next no. Saturday. I can't yep. do. No. I actually can't do next Saturday. Uh, next Sunday then. Can't do next Sunday. That's all right. Mark and I will take care of it. That's fine. See you next Tuesday. See you on Saturday. <laughs> I wasn't talking about when we were next recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so we will be back roughly, you know, a week. Next week time. at some point. We'll... Next week at some point. There you go. Uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me, Mark, Darren. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and we will see you all next week. <laughs>